Parts of the Midwest bracing for some of the coldest temperatures they've seen in decades. In some areas, conditions will feel like 50 degrees below zero. Uh, health leaders, they want you to stay inside too, right? The Now KC's Mackenzie Nelson shows us what you can what can happen to your body if you don't. There's a couple of things to watch out for during these last few frigid days of January. There's two separate kind of conditions, frostbite and then also hypothermia. They can start to set in just minutes after being out in the extreme cold. If it's zero degrees and there's five uh, mile per hour wind speeds, that it takes about 30 minutes to get frostbite. Layers and layers can help to keep warm, but the process of frostbite can set in even sooner if certain areas of your body aren't properly covered up. There are certain vulnerable areas, obviously our nose, our face, our ears and our fingers are all should be protected. In just over 30 minutes, hypothermia can set in. You may not even realize it's happening. As your body temperature drops, you can start to get confused. So then somebody may not realize that they're succumbing to the cold. So that's very important. If you are working with coworkers outside, if somebody starts acting unusual, that may mean that they're having hypothermia. Once your body temperature drops to 95 degrees, you'll start shivering. That's a sign to get warm. If you lose your ability to shiver, that's very dangerous. So that is somebody that would need to come to the emergency room. Many of us turn to hot drinks like coffee to warm up, but this week, Experts want us to put the coffee down, open up the fridge, and take one of these out. Caffeine is one of those things that can uh, act as a diuretic and make you actually more dehydrated. So staying away from caffeine, just um, some water, and just staying hydrated well. If you're dehydrated, Sullivan says you'll feel the symptoms of cold much faster. The best advice doctors have is to stay inside if you don't have to be out. In Kansas City, Mackenzie Nelson for the Now KC. And doctors say people with pre-existing medical conditions and children who have less insulin are at a greater risk.